comes out of the loop and she puts the racket like on the edge. Mm -hmm. So you've been taught a relatively flat ball, no problem. Playing indoors, fast forwards, you're taught to hit the ball in the middle of the racket. I understand. She comes out of the loop and the racket's like very much on what we call the edge. See, this is the edge. So if I was going to say come out of your loop and tap the dog on the head, if I would say tap the dog on the head, you'd go like this. Hi -ya. You would go pop. You would like hit it like the side of the back. Now, when I had her demonstrate, you did it right. I said, and you came out of the loop, you did that. So you, you don't do that when the ball comes. You know what I'm saying? And the only way the racket flips, the only way any of this even can happen is the racket has, the head of the racket has to be above the hand mm -hmm. to the outside. And even if you're like this, I mean, the racket could flip, but not as dynamic. So when you come out of this thing, it's going to be pretty cool. Boom, show me where the racket is. Boom, put it there. 
Now, all you're going to do is what? Yeah, just pull it. Just pull the hand forward, whatever. Just you're going to pull the hand forward, and then you turn it over. Or you pull it and roll it. Let me worry about what happened. Start with your racket there, kiddo. You know what? You can get this. There's no doubt. Don't take it back. I trust you. I trust you. I don't trust you. Okay, well, as soon as the ball came, you went. <laughs> I know you feel you're not going to get power. You know what? And if you don't get power or you don't hit it good, that's okay. We just go like this. See, the racket coming back in, it's going to flip. This whole thing's going to flip. Set the racket. Now, don't take it back. Pull the hand forward. Okay, now. No, no, no. Yeah, what back? Go watch. Once you pull, then go like this. <laughs> That's all right. You had a lot of stuff in the computer. Do it again. Doing great. Don't take it back anywhere. You're just going to pull the hand, turn it over. Pull and lock. Show me a pull and a lock. Thank you. Again. Don't go back. Just pull and lock. It's coming. You're in the game. Now you're in the game. Go get it. Pull. Again. I know you can lock better than that. It's interesting because you're actually having a harder time understanding how to come across the ball, come across the ball, and turn it over than you are in the pole. You're starting to do the pole every time now, instead of back. Boom. So you got to master this. There's no way I can go from the ready to the position unless you can just lock this in. you got to be able to do this first. Set it. Got it, girl. Just pull forward. Don't move it. 
make it faster by setting this thing up. So show me. Boom. No, you went to boom. You went all the way to the second. Okay? Wait, put your strings that way, too. And get the whole thing up a little bit. There you go. Now boom. Yeah, even if buddy, even if you have to do this, even if you have to push it, if you have to push it like that, do it. That was good. See, but this takes so much thinking. Yeah. What's going to happen when you get turned? What's going to happen is this. The minute you turn, you're paying. Right? The minute you turn, your body's going to say, this feels better to do.